It's very twisted, kind of like a little blues lick, you know, a blues scale. And then here. Pattern is this, one flat three, flat five, five. How does it, what am I actually doing? Am I doing 16th notes? Am I doing triplet 16s? Deli, 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 da. Those are sixes. And you can just, again, notice I'm just barring. And then you can do it here. And then you can do patterns. I do this stuff in jazz. That's what I'm saying. It's like, you have an E minor. There you go. And here's that other one. On a G major seven chord, you have one, two, three. One, two, three. And then now take that same intervallic pattern, but start on the fifth degree. And now you get this. So basically you get five, six, seven of the scale. So basically we have one, two, three, five, six yeah. shell fragments. So listen to it with a little palm mute. Here it is. Here's, here's that exercise I'm always talking about. This helps visualize it. Root, fifth, root, fifth, root, fifth. Make sure you visualize G, D, G, D, G, D through the three octaves, assuming you want to run three octaves. Use your first finger. Here, do this with me. W root, fifth, root, fifth, root, fifth. G, D, G, D, G, D. Yeah, let's take a scale fragment. So do this with me. This is kind of more metal sounding. Well, one flat three, flat five, five. Makes a fun little picking pattern. Makes a fun little picking Makes pattern. Makes a fun little picking pattern. And there I'm doing triplets. Go. Yeah, just getting that feel of it too. 